Right, hello guys, welcome back. I hope everybody's been enjoying Into the Light so far. Today, we are talking about sidearms. Specifically, we are talking about three sidearms, Forerunner, Final Warning, and Indebted Kindness, and a little bit of Mechanist Trick Sleeves, and a little bit of trickery. So instead of me talking about why sidearms are so broken right now, let me show you. Come on. Yes! Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Basically, some of you may have heard already, but there is currently a bug with Mechanist Trick Sleeves and Sidearms that lets you double the amount of damage you're able to deal when you're in the Mechanist Trick Sleeve sort of exotic perk state. Now, normally the way this exotic works is that when you ready a sidearm when you're critically wounded, so when you're in your red health, it gives you a damage buff to your sidearm for the duration of you being red health. And then when you're not red health anymore, the buff goes to a five second timer that you can refresh with more kills. But basically, people have found an exploit where if you start with a sidearm in the special slot and you find a way to sort of prevent the pullout animation of another sidearm in the primary slot, you actually end up tricking the game into thinking that you still have the damage buff for the one sidearm and then it applies the damage buff for the other one on top of that. So basically, I'll show you what that means. So let's let's have a look here in this lost sector. It doesn't matter that I have solo op or anything, but I'll just show you. So on this legionary, we have for 33,000. So around 33k, right? I'll just put that in the chat. Uh, and now I'll just wait until I'm 1 HP or down to red by health and I'll show you what the damage we deal is any day now. Okay, so now that I'm 1 HP, I can pull out my sidearm and then I can hit this. There we go, 66,000. So that's double damage. Exactly what we expected, 66,000. Now let me show you this instead. So I'm 1 HP, I pull out my rocket sidearm, I dodge and then swap to Forerunner in the meantime. 133,000, which is quadruple the amount of damage. And this effect is active so long as you're red by health. So you've seen that. Now let me show you what it's like on Carl. So if I let him damage me a little bit, I'll get behind cover, swap off, swap to my sidearm, dodge, back to Forerunner. One, two, three, four. <laughs> four hits to kill Carl, which is uh, quite extraordinary. No other weapon can really do that at the moment, or no other sidearm can do that at the moment, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, I also just wanted to show you what final warning looks like. So there we are with red health, swap to this sidearm, dodge, swap to the next one, lock onto Carl, and... <laughs> one burst. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's that's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. The other thing is, obviously, when you have the buff and your white health, as you can see now, getting kills will extend it. So you can see trick sleeves on the left there. However, this isn't the bugged state. You can't keep the 4x damage. When you go back to normal health, it reverts back to the normal double damage. It's obviously still a lot of damage, but it isn't the 4x that you had when you were 1 HP. I can show you one more time if these guys make me weak enough. See, this guy, he normally has like, you know, a, a little bit of health. So if I swap back to my sidearm, dodge, swap to Forerunner. Bash, 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 bash. <laughs> 133,000 every single time. Okay, so yeah, that's all well and good, but let's talk about the elephant in the room. How practical actually is this? Well, for starters, because you have to be 1 HP, it's already a little bit limiting because in that state, you're obviously very weak and you're going to die to a lot of things. And especially because the 4X goes away when you regen past that health amount, you aren't really able to keep it for long. The thing is though, if you're in like a giant room filled with ads and are able to keep killing those ads, then yes, it is somewhat viable if you can sort of maintain yourself at a low enough HP. And then you can keep slaying out with the double damage that it normally gives you because honestly mechanist trick sleeves are kind of an underrated exotic in my opinion like double damage on something like forerunner is pretty huge even you know without the bug and then when it comes to boss damage though not really you see the thing is in like a team scenario most teams have wells and sort of other healing sources which will prevent you from sort of maintaining that low hp state you can inflict it on yourself you know you can shoot yourself with indebted kindness with three times and there you are you've got the damage boost bang 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 but yeah it's not very practical especially in a raid setting. However, like you saw with my solo kill of Achilles at the beginning of the video, it is practical in a sense in those places if you kind of set it up correctly. Because if you remember from the clip, I had the navigator equipped, which let me sustain fire for longer while also keeping myself in that red bar health region. However, it is a bit of a stretch, though it is something that is quite cool. And I thought I'd still cover it for those who really want to sort of give it a try themselves. Actually, if you guys can think of any other dungeon bosses where you think it might be practical, kind of like Achilles, just drop it down in the comments. So uh, there's not 
really much more I wanted to say about this really. I just kind of wanted to bring it to light because basically this bug was discovered on Billy Billy and I haven't seen a lot of coverage on it on YouTube yet. So I thought I'd bring to light this cool piece of news for the YouTube audience. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Your support means the world. And if you're really into the content I create, consider becoming a member of the channel, which not only lets you support me in the best way possible, it also nets you a whole host of awesome perks along with it. A massive shout out to these members up on screen and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.